Hello everyone. Um, we'll go for uh, the last experiment uh, using uh, inbuilt A to D converter of PIG 16F 877A. Uh, the other experiment uh, I have already shared. It may not. It may not be uh, with this uh, uh, channel. Uh, the key sensing uh, I made it in two parts earlier, and I have shared initially. So that 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 may not be there in this uh, uh, channel. So what I suggest you to. Uh, refer moodle or uh, google classroom so that you can see and do those experiment and the remaining is a to d converter let's uh, go ahead and do it uh, pick 16f 877a say next and here you have to create the project uh, this is my main directory. Make sure that every uh, thing you are going to save it here. For every project, I asked you to uh, create a new uh, folder so that all files will be there in the same folder. So, ADC, I'll say, or fifth experiment, you can say. And here I have to save. Uh, the name pick pick ADC or uh, uh, ADC experiment. This is your project name. Save. Say next. Uh, if you wish, you can add the existing uh, code. The code already I have given here. Uh, it is in U2L5. Uh, I also told you to uh, how to calculate back and that I am repeating now. Let's uh, go. Finish. Go to file. Open. Open the template. Program file x86. Microchip. MPASM suit template code 16F877A temp. You just open it as soon as you open. Don't do any changes here because if you change, your template is gone. So save a copy of the template. You can keep a, a, a master copy of template in your main folder. That is a good way of doing it. So that you don't have to come to uh, C drive all the time and poking it again and again. So you can have a, a, this template copy in your main directory. That is also a good way. That is what I do. But because in your lab uh, you may not be uh, able to do it. So I will go and save the template. Copy of the template in the directory where I have saved the project. Uh, here, this is the directory. Give a proper name. I'll give simply ADC. Save. So I have a code already. I have just copied. And I am going to simply paste it. It is very simple code. You can pause for a moment and you can take a snapshot of it and you can type it. Or you can get it from uh, the word file that I have shared, U2L5. And uh, I have uh, taken out some of the things, uh, thinking properly what to do, what not to do. So this is going to be working. The explanation is already given in the class. If you want to follow, you just go back and see the recording. And we have to add it. To the project and build it. That's it. So you cannot able to debug here. It, it is very difficult because you do not have proper debugger. 
software. So the one way that can be debugged, uh, you can able to do it on uh, uh, say uh, a kit uh, or you can able to do it easily in uh, Proteus. So Proteus is preferable even if you do it in the lab. So I'll, I'll go and open Proteus. I'll take a uh, PIC16F877A microcontroller in Proteus, go to part, type it as it is. This one I want. And to display, I want seven segment DCD. This is preferable. You take this also. Uh, I need a port so that I can vary the analog input. Uh, particular thing that I have is port HG. Okay. Don't forget these things. You, you, may, you may find it difficult to forget, uh, difficult to find it. So you have to remember seven seg and hyphen BCD, port hyphen HG. These are the things that you should have. So I have a now then uh, first uh, let me uh, do one thing which is very simple thing that is load the X file okay make it 10 megahertz and go ahead and load uh, the hex file which is present in the program directory Okay, I have this X file. Once you load it, you are done. And remaining uh, setup, you have to do it because you have to take pot. So what I do, I'll uh, clip it. Uh, or else it is okay. Uh, you can take up uh, 1K or 10K, any value is going to be okay. A little uh, connection required, so ground and VCC. Uh, we are going to have uh, VCC from uh, either this, this is also going to be okay, power, um, or you can take up a DC supply from this and connect it to this and give 5 volt here. Fine, and this you have to give it to which channel? Channel 0. This is where we uh, configured our channel and uh, to look uh, uh, to observe the ADC output uh, I have to I can observe here itself but I need to calculate binary and make it equivalent to uh, hex value or decimal value rather than that what we do we will go for 7 segment uh, 3 7 segment will have so this is LHP digit since it is 10 bit ADC so we need a two and a half a, a digit it is so uh, I'm going to use LSB middle one and MSB is here uh, we know that where we are sending uh, LSBs and MSBs if you look into the program the LSB LSBs are going to port D. So port D for least significant bits are must be connected here. Okay, this is the first digit. The second digit must be connected something like this. The next half digit which is there at port C, um, if you look into the program, uh, it will go to port C, LSB port C that is RC0 and RC, uh, these bits must be connected to LSB's 
So LSV of uh, the cell segment display. Uh, the encoder is within. You don't have to worry about uh, all those things. Uh, so what you have to worry is you have to connect this to remaining bits to I think connection uh, didn't go properly. So what I do, I'll uh, eliminate this as well. So I take a ground and uh, connect uh, here. And then from here to here, I have to do the connection. Now it is done correctly. So everything is done. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, you can able to Trace it back what input you have given using this formula that I explained, what is the resolution and all. For a given value of 2.5, I calculated what will be the output. And for the same, in the same way you can calculate any uh, uh, given uh, uh, value, what will be the uh, digital output. So according to this you can do it. So to observe what is the input, you can have a, say a DC multimeter or DC voltmeter. So that I would like to have it here. I just want to see what is the input. This is, this should be fine. So if I hit this, now it is at 50%. This must be 2.5 because it divides equally. This uh, I have set it to 5 volt already. Don't forget this. And connect it to RA0 and setup is ready now. And if I run it, I should be getting 1 FF. This is 2.5 volt. You could be able to see. And this is 1 FF. which we did here. Suppose if I do it further, for example, if I do a calculation something like what will be the output for 1 volt? For 1 volt, say uh, 1 divided by 4.89 Okay, uh, sorry that. 1 by uh, 4 point, sorry, it is taking a formula, 1 by 4.89. Now what I do, I will do, do 1 divided by 0 0.4.89. This, I will delete it now, millivolt. This is, this is equal to 1 divided by I'll do the small calculation for you. One divided by 4.89 milli will be 204.5. Somewhere 204, say 204.4. Uh, this I have to calculate it. 204.5 I am getting. So which must be say 205. I'll do calculation for both calculator. I'll go for 204 first. I don't know which one we may be getting. This is CC or uh, 205. Uh, this is CD. Either CC or CD you must get. CC, uh, 0 CC, H. Or I should get 0. C, D, H. So I will just check what will be the output for 1 volt. So I will make it 1 volt. Observe here. I will reduce it to 1 volt. I am close. So this is 1 volt. Now you should be able to see the output. It is 0 C, D. So the other value that we got, so it took uh, uh, 205 has whole number which is base 10, I will make it base 
this then. And that will be this one. Okay. So this is how uh, it works. Uh, hope uh, you can able to follow it. Uh, with similar, uh, similarly, you can do for any value, and uh, you should be able to do it. Thank you.